how to add a text tracking effect to a 2D or aerial view video clip in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.6. Inside your edits window, holding Ctrl and press I to insert a video clip of your choice. Use command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your edits media pool master bin, find the thumbnail of the video clip that you have inserted. Click on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail when you hover your mouse cursor over this. To reveal the clip attributes, we will identify the frame rate of the video clip here. In this particular project, the frame rate of my chosen video clip will be just under 24. This information will help us when we apply fade effects to our text tracking effect later on in this tutorial. Click and drag your video clip to your edits timeline. Right click on your chosen video clip and go to open in Fusion page. With media in one selected inside your nodes panel, hold in shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom to find the tracker tool. Select this from the options and go to click on add. This new node should be automatically connected to media in one via the yellow input arrow. On your fusion timeline, click and drag the red frame pointer to the point on your video clip where you wish to apply the text tracking effect to. My intention is to make a text box with the words blue car tracking the blue vehicle that we see on screen here. You can identify the tracker frame on your preview window and relocate this by selecting the box in the top left corner of the pattern window. When selecting the points that you wish to track, ensure that there is color consistency around the center point of your tracker window. Here for example, I will centralize the tracker on the blue roof of the car. If you feel your tracker window spreads out too far to different color shades, which may result in the tracker being diverted as your video clip plays, you can reduce the size of this inside the tracker window in Inspector. Under Inspector and Tools and Trackers, find the pattern and search dimensions directly below the tracker heading. I will reduce both the width and height of the pattern and search sections of my tracker window. We can see a decrease in the tracker window size. Now that I am ready to track my blue car, I will select the Track Forward from Current Time button. Just before the tracking pattern reaches the edge of the frame, I will click the Stop button and select Yes in the window that appears. In order to make text appear when I add this later on in this tutorial, select Operation and in the Operation list, choose Match Move. Now to add the text which will be tracking the path of the blue car. Return to your nodes panel, deselect the tracker one node by clicking anywhere in the nodes grid, hold in shift and press space, and go to add the text plus tool. Click on the grey box to the right of text one, drag your mouse cursor down to the green arrow above tracker one, let go to make a connection. The green arrow basically represents the input of what will appear in the foreground as the video clip plays, ensuring that the text appears in front of the video clip in this particular project here. With text one selected, return to inspector and underneath text, type in the message that you wish to have appear in your tracking shot. Return to the first frame where you initially applied the tracking effect. Here in this case, it will be frame 160. Once adjusting the frame, your text should appear in the center of the screen. If it doesn't, or if you wish to adjust the position straight away, so that this text is located next to the object that you are tracking on screen, select Layout, and adjust the center X and Y coordinates, or click on the center box inside the text one frame to drag manually. Now to add the fade in and out effect to the text. Under Inspector, select Shading, I wish for the text to start fading in at the frame where I first applied the tracking effect to, on frame 160. I will first select the keyframe diamond icon next to opacity and reduce the opacity value to zero so the text is invisible at the start of the video where the blue car is off screen. I wish for the fade effect of the text to last for approximately one second of screen time. Since we previously identified in the edit window, that the frame rate of this video clip was just under 24. I will skip forward by 24 frames to frame 184, where I will increase the opacity level back to 1.0 to complete the fade in transition for the text. 
Finally, I wish for the text to fade out just before the blue car reaches the bottom right corner of the screen. I will skip forward to frame 260. Under Inspector and Shading again, select the keyframe diamond icon next to Opacity so that the text remains fully opaque from frame 184 to this point in this video clip. I will then skip forward by a further second of screen time to frame 284, where I will finally reduce the opacity level back down to 0.0. .0. The background music in this video is provided by the Proud Channel sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website, and another link which will provide a discounted purchase of a lifetime supply of music and sound effects, can be found in the video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.